Now there's always been a lot of speculation around processed meat and the link with cancer. Now in this particular article we get a more in-depth perspective as far as the link between processed meat and the likelihood or the chances of getting cancer are concerned. So therefore, this is definitely worth a read. I've provided the link in the description of this video. You can click on that and read this in its entirety because this is one of the few articles which gives a more detailed perspective as far as the link between processed meat and cancer is concerned because this is more uh, based on a more in-depth study because otherwise there's always been some degree of speculation but then we've never been very very sure as to what exactly is the uh, definitive link between uh, cancer and the uh, intake of processed meat because in this case we're looking at 800 studies which is of course a large number of studies and then uh, how exactly you know first of all you know there's uh, certain things which are good to understand because how exactly are we looking at red meat red meat is essentially any meat that's a dark red color before it's cooked so it's whether it's beef and lamb or pork we're all look that's all red meat processed is basically meat which is not sold fresh but cured salted smoked in any which way where the idea is to preserve its uh, you know ensure its longevity whereby you can purchase it and then you know maybe stock it up for some time or in the entire process from the from the time it's actually prepared till the time say it's on uh, market shelves and eventually purchased by customers and then prepared by them for final consumption at a still later date so in that entire time frame you know th this meat is processed in a way that it actually lasts that so long for that all these things are done whether it's curing salting smoking etc so uh, bacon sausages hot dogs ham salami pepperoni these are all examples of processed meat but if it's fresh burgers or fresh min freshly minced meat that is not a part of processed meat so this is a good understanding to get and then uh, how does how are these distinct from white meats white meats are like um, fresh chicken or turkey and fish is another good example which is distinct from red or processed meat and it does not or at least is not known to increase the risk of cancer so uh, the study has been comprehensive as far as i have uh, noted in this particular article and that's why i uh, feel that it's definitely worth a read and here this is a statistic which is worthy of noting 17 percent higher risk of developing bowel can cancer compared to those who ate the least amount of these red or processed meat and uh, here it is another statistic that out of every thousand people in the uk about 61 will develop bowel cancer at some point in their lives and that is where the chances of developing this cancer increase when you um, increase your intake or have a high intake of red or processed meat the question of course arises as to how much is too much you know that's that's really a question which one needs to look at and this uh, chart gives a good idea in terms of the uh, evidence backing this uh, entire link between processed or red meat and cancer and let's go ahead uh, further in terms of okay this comparison where, wherein uh, we are looking at tobacco versus meat that's a good thing to look at because when we uh, look at tobacco 86 percent of lung cancers tobacco said to be behind them and 19 percent of all cancers and then when it comes to processed and red meat we're looking at 21 percent of bowel cancers and three percent of all cancers so of course tobacco is clearly a much much bigger killer because here if you look at no one smoked in the uk then you would have 64,500 fewer cases of cancer whereas if no one ate any processed or red meat you would only look at 8,800 fewer cases of course a much smaller number but in either case what we are seeing is the fact that there is the increased risk of cancer so you know that is all and here it is how much is too much because this is always the question because we all have let's face it you know i've also eaten uh, red meat processed meat so how much is too much that's a good idea to get so in an english breakfast if you have two sausages and three rashers of bacon you could cut it down to one sausage and one rasher of bacon 
and likewise if you have ham sandwich instead of two slices of ham you could substitute the ham with chicken or tuna and if you're having spaghetti bologna you could uh, instead of minced beef in a regular portion you could have less meat and add beans or extra veggies so that way you will uh, definitely reduce your intake of red or processed meat incrementally so th the crux is that there is a seemingly definitive relationship between red or processed meat and cancer and everything comes down to the fact that you know when it comes to your diet eat plenty of fiber fruit and vegetables minimize your red and processed meat intake and of course salt and also limit your alcohol intake will all of this guarantee the fact that you will not get cancer no there are a lot of people who do all of this and yet get cancer there's a you know there, there's a strong link between genes and when you have those uh, genes which are susceptible to cancer there's little that you can do about it but yet this gives up a good perspective and as far as smoking is concerned there is absolutely no exception it's always bad for you so then if you're smoking you might as well give it up right away but then this gives a good perspective as far as your link between cancer speci specifically bowel cancer and red or processed meat is concerned